Now, in the previous video, we had discussed about work done by variable force. We have understood the concept of calculating the work done when your force is variable. Now, we will solve one or two examples based on this topic. See, a position dependent force F is equals to 7 minus 2x plus 3x square. That means force depends on x, right? By substituting the value of x, F will change. So, the force is variable. So, the force F 7 minus 2x plus 3x square, x on a body of 2 kilogram mass and because of this force, the body displaces from 0 to 5 meter. The body gets displaced from 0 to 5 meter. So, what is the work done? Okay. So, in the previous video, we had seen that whenever the force is variable and you have been said to calculate the work done, will go by using integration, right? Okay. So, work done will be integration f into dx. Now, how to set the limit? The body is getting displaced from 0 to 5. So, the lower limit will be 0, upper limit will be 5. Okay. Now, work done will be integration 0 to 5 instead of f, we will write as 7 minus 2x square. Sorry, 7 minus 2x plus 3x square into dx. Okay. So, now work done will be 0 to 5. 7 dx minus 0 to 5 2x dx plus 0 to 5 3x square dx. Right? Already motion in a straight line in the chapter motion in a straight line. You, you must have come across this formula x raised to n dx. This will be x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 and we will have the limits. Right? So, this is the formula of integration. So, now let us integrate this work done. 7 is constant, I will take it outside. dx, integration of dx with the help of this formula will be x, okay, 0 to 5 minus 2 is taken outside because it is constant integration of x dx, it will be x square by 2. I hope you all must be knowing about this basics of integration, right? Plus 3 is taken outside, x square dx will be x cube by 3, right? So, now let us substitute. Now, apply the limits. Work done. 7 upper minus lower limit. So, it is 5 minus 0 minus 2 to gets cancel x square. So, it will be 25 minus 0 plus 125 minus 0. So, it is 35 minus 25 plus 125. So, it will be 10 135 joule, this will be your answer. So, this is the option, right. This is how we will solve the questions based on variable forces. Now, let us go for another question. Let us see one more example. Body of mass 3 kilogram is under a force which causes a displacement S equals to T cube by 3. That means, displacement of the body depends on time. We have to find the work done by the force from 0 to 2 seconds. Okay. So, now in, the, in this case, displacement depends on time. So, if time changes, displacement will change and accordingly work done will change. Fine. We have the formula work done is integration force into displacement. We do not have the value of F. We do not have the value of ds. F can be written as m into a, right? And by differentiating this two times, we will find acceleration because ds by dt will be velocity and then dv by dt will be acceleration. So, by using this equation, we will find acceleration and with that, we will calculate f. Okay, see, first of all, let us differentiate this. S is equals to t cube by 3. So, ds by dt 
will be equals to 3t square by 3. I hope you know the formula of differentiation d by dx of x raised to n will be n times x raised to n minus 1. Okay. So, in this case ds is equals to t square dt. Okay. So, we have calculated the value of ds. Now, we will find force. Already mass is given in the question. We will calculate acceleration. How to calculate acceleration? Differentiate this two times. So, ds by dt which will give you velocity it is 3t square by 3. So, velocity comes out to be t square. Okay. I have just differentiated s with respect to time. Okay, we need to calculate acceleration. Further differentiate this dv by dt, 2t. So now acceleration is 2t. What is f? f is ma. m is given to you 3, 3 into 2t, so 6t. So now you know the value of f, you know the value of displacement. Substitute in this formula. Use this equation. Work done f into ds, you can apply the limit, limit is given in the form of time 0 to 2 seconds, okay. Instead of f, I can write as 60 and instead of ds, I can write as t square dt. So, it will be 60 cube dt, 60 into t square, 60 cube dt, t cube dt t raised to 4 by 6 by 4, 3 by 2 into uh, 60. So, your answer is 24 joule. This is your option. Got it? So, this is how we will solve the questions based on variable force. Now, in next video, we will discuss about work energy theorem. It is the most important theorem, work energy theorem. Many questions of other chapters can also be solved by using that equation. So, it is very important uh, topic, we will discuss in the next video.